Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Monday, November 9th, 2020. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino. It is absolutely beautiful out there, although a bit chilly in a few spots, as we have high pressure sitting right over us, and that's leading to clear skies and light winds, and that allows your temperatures to fall off quite a bit. Temperatures range from the mid-30s in the Catskills to the upper 40s and even a few lower 50s down towards the immediate southern New Jersey coast. We do have a little bit of fog that has formed here over southern New Jersey, but that's starting to give way pretty quickly. Overall, it is a pretty tranquil morning out there. Now, this high-pressure system will remain in control for today, start to exit tomorrow. Down here, well, that is Tropical Storm Ada that we're going to keep an eye on. And then out here is our slow-moving cold front. Now, as this high-pressure system exits, this cold front and the waves of low pressure associated with it, along with the moisture from Ada, is going to lead to significantly more rainfall on the way by the time we get to Wednesday night. When you take a look at the infrared satellite picture, you can see everything all kind of set up. Now, here's Ada out here. It has winds of, let's pull up the data, 65 miles per hour. It's moving to the west and northwest at 13 miles per hour. It's expected to fester to north of Cuba and then lift up towards the Florida panhandle by the time we get to Saturday. However, the moisture associated with Ada, along with all this moisture out here, is going to come into play with this cold front that's going to slowly press towards our region by the time we get to Wednesday evening. And so that's going to lead to widespread moderate heavy rainfall, especially Wednesday night all the way on through Thursday, with rainfall amounts possibly reaching anywhere from about two to three inches, a few isolated locations up to four inches, basically from the I-95 corridor to the coast. And then as you live further north and west, well, basically a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain. So definitely a wet period of weather on the way. Let's dive into this forecast. For today, high pressure and control providing excellent weather conditions. A chilly start, but it's going to warm up very nicely into the upper 60s to lower 70s. For tonight on through tomorrow morning, look for sky cloud cover with lows in the lower to mid 50s. Tomorrow afternoon, look for increasing cloud cover with high temperatures ranging from the mid 60s to lower 70s. Now on Wednesday, here comes our cold front. Look for rain to break out in the afternoon, becoming widespread in the evening and heavy at times. Temperatures on Wednesday will range from the upper 50s to lower 60s for lows and upper 60s to lower 70s for highs. On Thursday, the cold front slowly presses through the region. Now there is Ada starting to get drawn into this whole frontal boundary here with waves of rainfall throughout the region on Thursday. Low temperatures will range from the upper 50s to lower 60s, high temperatures in the lower to mid 60s. So basically, temperatures go almost nowhere. On Friday, the cold front slowly exits with showers in the morning, clearing skies in the afternoon. Look for lows in the lower to mid 50s, highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. On Saturday, completely dry, high pressure and control with sky cloud cover. Lows in the upper 30s to mid 40s, highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s. On Sunday, a warm front will lift through with periods of showers. Look for lows in the lower to mid 40s, highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. And on Monday, a cold front moves through in the morning with additional showers followed by clearing skies. Lows in the mid to upper 50s, highs in the lower 60s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. And as always, stay safe out there.